audience. My name is Ronan Arden Jusa. I am 14 years old. Today, I'm going to tell you all a story about the legend of Toba Lake. I hope you all enjoy it. Once upon a time, there was a fisherman who lived in North Sumatra. <laughs> Don't ask me the year because all I know is that it was a very, a very long time ago before you were born and of course before I was born. One day, the fisherman was fishing in a river and he knew a very big fish. This fish had gold color all over its body. It was beautiful. The fisherman then put the fish in his basket and went home happily. He then put the fish in a sink. He also grabbed the knife to kill the fish. But when he almost killed it, he saw the fish's eyes and felt pity. Don't worry, I'm going to kill you. The fisherman then put the fish in a sink and added water in it. He then went fishing again, but this time, he couldn't get any fish. Oh man. His stomach started to sink, and he went home slouch. Oh. He was surprised when he saw smoke came out of his kitchen. Who's cooking in my kitchen? He took a little peek and saw a beautiful young girl cooking in his kitchen. Why is there a girl in my kitchen? He went inside and asked, Excuse me, who are you? The girl answered, I'm the fish. Fish? He asked in Kudalas. Yes, you did not kill me and I'm very thankful. The girl said, and then, she then said something else. I must return your kindness. The fisherman then said, No, you don't have to. But the girl kept insisting. Well, I have no family. I have no wife. If you would like to be my wife, I would be very happy. The girl smiled and said, I'd love to, but you have to promise me, if we have children together, you must not tell them about me. Then the fisherman and the fish girl were married, and they had a child named Sam. Sam was a very naughty child. He always played and never listened to his parents. One day, he was asked to deliver his father's lunch. On his way, he met his friends and forgot to deliver his father's lunch. When he was tired and hungry, he sat down ah, under a tree and ate his father's lunch. Mm. I'm such a good cookie. Meanwhile, his father waited and starved and hunger. He then decided to go back home. And on his way back, he saw Samo playing. He said, Where is my lunch? Um, I may or may not have eaten all of it. Why did you eat it? Um, I may or may not have gotten hungry after playing with my friends. Ah, you were told to deliver my lunch, but you didn't listen. Ah, I can't handle you anymore. You are so, so naughty. Get away from me. Don't come home anymore. His father evicted someone from his house. 
than this one. Is what happens when you cannot control your mouth when you are angry. You, you son of a fish! Suddenly, the sky was getting dark. The storm was breaking the ears. The rain fell from the sky as it was getting harder and harder. Suddenly, the fish girl appeared. I, I told you, don't tell him about me. I'm going to be a fish again. Goodbye. The girl then turned into a fish. Meanwhile, Samo ran to a hill and stayed there. The water then kept getting higher and higher and drowned the village. It then surrounded the hill. Now, the lake is known as Toba Lake. And the hill in the middle, it's called Samosir Island. Samosir means Samo Dusir, or in English, Samo have been evicted. Now, what's the moral of the story? Well, you should always listen to your parents. And you must also always keep your promise. Thank you for listening to my story, and may God bless you all.